Oh, Captain. My Captain. Captain! Urgent news from the General! Why not really blow it up, Captain? Captain Blob. Barking is hostile and fire. I'm giving her off! She's caught, Captain! My Captain? No, Captain. They're alive. So, I believe, I believe you guys can hear me, and hopefully it sounds better than it ever has before. Um, that's the plan. Uh, can you guys hear me? How does it sound? Let's see. Um, I had this... Mic, I've had this stand and this mic stand for like this is one of the first things I got actually when I started in the in the industry, and I have not used them ever. <laughs> this is literally the very first time I've ever used these two things, uh, and this mic and and the XLR cable uh, came with this this set. I bought uh, I bought a whole bunch of stuff from a guy um, who was moving to like some other country, yeah, for real cheap. And, uh, so yeah, and the camera that I'm using that I'm filming this on right now, it's, it's been an interesting day that the camera I'm filming on was my first like big camera that I bought. I bought it thinking I'd use it for everything, like make short films and movies and all this stuff. And that never happened because I'm a goober and way back when I used to just, I would just buy stuff because I'm like, okay, I had dreams about like of using it and it didn't happen. I don't, I don't know if I even... Okay, sorry guys. Listen guys. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. <laughs> this is your captain speaking. And uh, we have a very exciting... I keep looking to the left. This is where my laptop is. Uh, you guys can't see it, but it's right here. Oh, you can see this right here. Um, we have a very exciting video today. Uh, we have a new series called Captain and Friend. And I will be playing with Zero Skater. So each each episode of this captain and friend i'll be playing with a new player my first one is zero my second one which is on saturday at what time do we say 12 p.m so noon all right not 12 like not nighttime 12 p.m right? not 12 a.m uh 12 p.m uh eastern time will be phantom uh the winner of of winter champions and then i believe next week uh will be chad uh, but we have to, we got to schedule that one still. Um, but we're going to have, we're trying to get everybody. I'm going to try to get everybody. Um, try to do, do baked goods. We'll get dark blade and, um, uh, I'm going to get play with tater tots. So just, just a lot of the people in the community. Um, I'm going to get Justin. You guys, uh, we might, might play some, some, uh, Justin Jacobson, get an interview with him. That'll be fun. Um, and just do a bunch of different cool little, little things of get, getting to know the players, getting to know the people that are in the, this, the unmatched world, uh, getting asked some questions. Um, where you guys come in is, I want you guys to post your questions uh, in the comments. Um, shoot, shoot them to me in messages uh, so that we've got a whole bunch of questions to ask them as we play. So we'll be playing uh, Unmatched casually um, and not like competitive, like, like, like you know, not like super try hard, like I'm going to murder you, but like uh, still competitive. Um, but fun. It'll be really fun and just asking questions, getting to know them. And this is the new series. So uh, big shout out to my crockpots. All right. So I see the issue here. This is the issue. I got I to gotta fix the audio here. Uh, we got Bromantic, Greg's Lasinski, 619 Sports, Chick Charney, O-Town, and Shy Guy for Smash. All right, so since we're waiting on Zero, he's not here yet. We got the, first off, we got the Black Panther shirt. Okay, rocking the Black Panther shirt. I love it. Big fan. Um, so last, was it, what was it, what, what day was it? Was it Thursday or Tuesday? I did a, I did a video. I, I, uh, I gave you guys a little, I think it was Thursday. I gave you guys a little scavenger hunt. Uh, to go find um, I, my clue. What was the first clue? I, I said, well, the only clue I gave was, I said, uncontested. So 
Uh, we actually had two winners from that scavenger hunt I gave you guys. Um, so the first person that got there uh, was Monty, and Monty will be winning a set. He chose uh, the Battle of Legends Volume 1, so I'll be mailing this to him. This beautiful uh, set here, he'll be getting. And uh, so that's going to Monty. And then the other person who won, let's check the Discord real quick. Um, the other person who won, well, that'd be weird if you start getting audio from here and there, and that'll be, that'll be, that'll be a nightmare. Um, is... Uh, Saber Umbra. So Saber Umbra also did it, um, but he was not first. So he's going to win a genie foil. Got a sweet genie foil for Saber Umbra. This is not a. I don't. I'm doing manual, guys. I don't. I don't rock the old uh, the autofocus. I'm not a, not a fan of that life. But we got Saber Umbra winning the genie foil. So I'm going to mail that out to him. Um, congratulations, you guys. You guys did a great job. Uh, I know uh, Mont Monty spent three hours on the scavenger hunt. So he wa he wanted it, he wanted it bad, um, and the uh, the first clue sent sent you to a short video I did. Uh, it was one one of the shorts where I, where it's um, I'm attacking Greg's, and then um, it's like a Houdini versus Luke Cage. I'm Houdini. I'm about to destroy him. He's like, please wait. He gives me this whole poem. It's a whole, an entire poem that he gives me. Uh, and then after his poem, he goes uncontested, and then I, I killed him. And it was a it was a beautiful moment. Um, and then from there, he jumped to uh, some other video. There were a bunch of different through different little images I put up, little emojis. Uh, the people went on this trail uh, and ended up. I'm not sure where they ended up. It wasn't important where they ended up or where they went to. It's just a whole thing I sent you guys on, and they got there. So that was cool. And they had to send me a screenshot of it. So that was the random giveaway. Um, congrats, guys, for winning that one. Um, who's still waiting on Zero Skater. Um, and this whole series, guys, it's pivotal. He's pivotal. Um, here's what I'm going to do. Since we're waiting on Zero, and he's not here, and he's not watching as far as I know, um, we will... Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, he's here. He's here, guys. We're going to give him a call. I'm no longer using this. Now I'm just using the actual, the actual voice here. All right, zero. Gotta join the, join the call, man. Um. Great. I'm not, I, I'm not, I think he's, I'm not sure what he was thinking. He's not, uh, he's probably at the gym, let's be honest, guys. He was probably getting jacked, getting swole. Um, I'm just going to keep calling him until he answers. We'll try again. Um, this is the only downside that, it, that uh, I'll have to be waiting on people potentially. It's okay. Um... All right, so let me get you guys through the questions. I've got a handful of them. If you guys get some good ones, shoot them in the, in the chat. I'll be looking at the chat throughout. So my questions are going to be, I want to learn first off. I want to I pick his brain. I want to pick his brain strategically um, and figure out, oh. Hello? Hello. Hey, Hold on, let me. Hello? Try to mess with some settings here. Okay, hello? Hey, are you in the submarine? Hey, are you in the submarine? Am I in the submarine? What? Are you in a, a submarine? A no. Okay. I just, Why? Just Does checking. Does it sound terrible? No, I just, I, there were some sonar beeps going off. Um, it's all right. Oh. No worries, no oh, worries. Okay, are we, good? are we good? It sounds good now. Yeah, it sounds great. All right, sweet. Zero, cool. glad to have you on the channel. 
Um, yeah, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So, all right. Welcome Sorry, to I'm Captain. Late, and... As always. Hey, no worries. No <laughs> worries. Um, uh, so, welcome to Captain and Friend. Uh, this is a new series. I'm gonna be. We'll be playing Unmatched, and we will be. Uh, I'll be asking you questions throughout uh, the game. So it's not like a super super competitive game, obviously. Uh, it's mostly sure. just so we can get to know you and, uh, but also have fun playing some some unmatched. Cool, man. Sounds right. great. So um, I will shoot you the the stuff for the room. Um, awesome. And as far as the game goes, here's what I'm thinking. I'm mm -hmm. thinking we play whatever. So my first question to you, okay? First question is, what are some of your favorite matchups? And and not maybe not why yet, but what are some of your favorite matchups? Like, I mean, if I could play these, this matchup's always fun either way, this character or this character. Um, what would it be? Hmm, that's a really good question. Thank you. Um, yeah. So okay, some of my favorite matchups. Uh, how many you want? Give me, give me your top five. Is that is that easy? Five. Okay. Um, right off the bat, I think. Yenanga Little Red comes to mind. Okay. Um, there's also uh, Dracula Invisible Man. Oh, interesting. Really? Yes, I love that one. It's classic. That sounds like a classic. Okay. Um, let's see what else. I got to look at these boxes next to me here. Um... Let's see. So I got Yanang in there. I got Invisible Man. I'm trying to think of my favorite characters and what's a good matchup with them. All right. Uh, let's see. All what's right. good with Widow? And I room... think uh, actually Black Widow into Winter Soldier is really fun. Okay. Um, I love Bigfoot Muldoon. Absolutely love that one. Why do you love that one? Oh, dude, it's so much fun. I mean, you got to get like a, a evenish map, right? Like not like okay. Yukon or Sherwood, but okay, as okay. long as you get like a relatively even map, I think it's super fun. Okay. Um, let's see what what is Genie like. Uh, I hope you guys are taking uh, notes. These are these are, sounds like some classics here. Yeah. Well, actually, you know what? Alice Robin Hood is super fun as well. That's a, like that's an old classic. Okay, I'm assuming you like the Alice side of that. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'd rather play Alice because I like Alice more. Right. But I think it's a pretty even matchup on either side. Okay. Um, all right. So here, are you in the jump? Jump into the room. Yep. Yep. I'm getting in there now. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, which color do you want me? Um, just go. You'll go across the table. Either one. Either you. one's good. Yeah. Um, I need to uh, do this real quick. Um, and so the ones that I would be that I would probably be down to do that would be fun. Uh, and that I would not just be trash in. Um, I would <laughs> say because like like the the Robin Hood one. I don't play enough Robin Hood to make that um, probably sure, sure. a good game. Um, but well, there's, there's plenty of other good matchups. What are some of your favorites? Well, so the question you. no, 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 no. This is no? Your, this is I'm interviewing you, Zero. Okay. 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 <laughs> um, but uh, it's, I, I I'm down to do the the InGen one. I'm down to do the little red one. Um, I love both of those. So yeah, whichever whichever one you want. Uh, well, you know what. Let's do the let's do the Bigfoot engine one. That sounds like a treat. Yeah, yeah. That sounds awesome. Okay, cool. Um and let me let me try to set this up so that it's gonna work here. Um, oh man, I just noticed like your background here. That's really cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, try to make it so that it would it'd be really clean and uh, would work well for the stream. Yeah, um, did you show this off to your stream? Uh like did pan around the TTS room and um, let me the... let me show you guys I have not I don't know if I've done that actually let's, let's check it's it out cool. check it out check it out the floor guys the floor it's a nice touch yeah check out the floor wait 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 oh this is hard I'm, I'm on a laptop and this is this is rough but there uh, we go okay. 
<laughs> looks pretty good. So, um, all right, zero. Another question. Wait. So, sure. which, which which one do you want to do? You want to do the engine? Yeah, that's okay. Great. Let's do engine. Uh, engine, Bigfoot, and then what map? What are you thinking? Uh, I'll let you pick an even an even map that that would not favor either of us too much. An even map, so nothing like two corridor ish, right? And uh, nothing like super interconnected. What's like a classic, like uh, I don't know, maybe Sarpedon or something. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Or yeah, I mean, Sarpedon's good. I think, or like Sunnydale is always relatively uh, neutral. Um, and then the the thing I love the most about this is how clean it is to bring in my fighters. Um, all right. in, now I see a big white square here where the fighter just loaded. Is it supposed to be like that, or am yes. I missing something? No, no, no. It's it's a uh, it is supposed to be like that. Okay. There he is. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be like that. It's um, it's just like reminiscent of my table, the in, in person with the white, all that. Sure, um, and sure. then also, it's it is massive, so that when we play with, um, oh, that's a good question, mitosis. We'll get there in a second. <laughs> um, uh, so that when I play with, um, that's so funny. Okay, so I, I have to ask this question right now. So real quick, out of the gate, mitosis <laughs> is coming in hot, uh, and his question is, why is Chad better than you? Oh man, shots fired! Shots fired from mitosis. Well, if 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 he were better than me, <laughs> it would have to be because he was trained by the best. Right. Of course. Of course. If he was better, it's because he was trained by the best it, to the become best. Exactly. what he is. That's interesting. Yeah. I, I can't disagree <laughs> with it. Um, all right. So zero. Here's a question. Why is your name the name it is? Oh, that's just, <laughs> it's an old, uh, like, email uh, account name, which was just like an old, you know, everybody's got that, that tag name from, from grade school, their their email address or whatever. They right. just come up with something stupid that they think is cool, and then they run with it. <laughs> yeah, mine was uh, Sandwich so, Maker. I was Sandwich Maker? Sandwich Maker forever. Um, nice. So Crockpot's not too far off, but, but yeah, Sandwich, sandwich true, Maker. True. For, de for years <laughs> great. yeah i mean i used to i used to skateboard a lot and um there was actually it's it kind of twofold there there's a skateboard company that was called zero and they were like my favorite um brand of like skateboard designers okay. all right um so i had zero boards and then um also i'm a big like Mega Man fan the okay. video game and the character in there called zero as well okay and he was my favorite character from there so like it was just a combination of things cool and then 12 has just been like my number the whole time so were you, 12, to take out the e. were you 12 when I you made it <laughs> sorry were you 12 when you made the the name is that why 12 oh no i w well i don't think i was specifically 12 but like my birthday's on the 12th and there's like uh, a bunch of things my mom told me i don't even remember them all but like i was like the 12th grandchild and all this stuff like, okay i think i was born at 606 and if you add them together it's 12 and so there's all this wow stuff. So okay like, so there's there's like that's, some that's serious there's some serious <laughs> uh reason for the name that's interesting cool yeah there's some lore behind it yeah. i like it i like it um all right so all right, let's see, let's see, let's shuffle you up here. All right, uh, do you do you know how to use tabletop simulator? I know you're a Vorpal a Vorpal uh, diehard. Yeah, yeah, I I know how to use TTS, uh, okay. the basics at least. All right, cool. Um, and then what in your mind makes it the most even? You going first or me going first? Oh, I I don't know. Let's just randomize it because I I really don't know. Okay. All right. Um, is there a dice? Can you grab the dice and roll it? Because it's if I went and go grab if I grabbed it, it'd be it'd be a nightmare. Oh yeah, this big big giant. Yeah, thing. the big old the big old boy. All right. I'm gonna throw it across the table. Sounds good. Do you want evens or odds? Uh, evens. Always evens. Okay. Here we go. Oh, that did not. That was roll. really good. That was such a good <laughs> roll. <laughs> All right, what? so it's odd. So then I'll start, I guess. Okay, it's odd. Okay. <laughs> did it did it ever change off of the nine, or did it stay uh, as nine the whole time? <laughs> I mean, it started on I think one, so it definitely okay. rolled just a little bit. All right. Um, 
All right, so I'm going to keep firing these questions as, as, we, uh, as we go. Yeah, sounds great. Are these questions from, from the chat, from the viewers? Or, uh, uh, I'm going to be asking the some... ones from the chat as they come in, um, and I will let you know when those are those. But uh, I have preset questions that I already I wrote up to, to be asking. Cool. Yeah. So, yeah. Awesome. all right, so besides Unmatched, what are your favorite hobbies? Um, Lifting's are well, obviously one. What's that? Oh, oh, geez. Oh, not like this. <laughs> Gotta lock the board. Gotta lock it. Yep. Um, here's um, a here's so, a phrase so you guys can learn about me. Uh, whenever the word lock is said in real life, I always say, lick it, lock it, put it in your pocket. But I don't know why. Um, <laughs> and it does it oddly applies in very strange ways uh, to most things that you would say that for. So, but. Uh, yeah, go on. So strange for <laughs> Yeah, because you you don't want to lick most things. You don't want to uh, put things in your pocket. Also, it's, uh, it's right, weird. especially after you lick them. You know. Yeah, exactly. You could be a little soggy. Correct. All right. So, um, what other hobbies you said, right? Yeah. Um. Oh, you're not stream. Well, you're not stream stepping, right? No, of course not. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna let the chat see the hand. That way, they can be a, a part of the action. Yeah, of course. Better, uh, better viewing, yeah. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Like the old days. I think I would say card games are um, a big hobby of mine. They always have been. I mean, that's kind of how I got into Unmatched because it's somewhat card-based. Right. Um, I, you know, other board games and stuff too. I love to play other board games just for fun. But um, like I was a Yu-Gi-Oh player for forever um, when I was growing up, like around high school years and whatnot and grade school even. Uh, me and my friend would play Yu-Gi-Oh all the time. And we'd go to like national tournaments like every year. We qualified for like seven years in a row or something. Wow. So, yeah, we were big, heavy into Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I heard that. I heard but, that's like your your like your uh, you know origin story. Yeah, yeah. So Yu-Gi-Oh is huge. It's been years since I played that, but now it's like Lorcana. Um, I got big into like near the end of last year. Uh, haven't played so much lately just because I haven't had a lot of time um, with school. But uh, yeah, Lorcan has been big. Also, Star Wars Unlimited is a new TCG that came out just like last month that uh, I've been playing a lot and having a lot of fun with. Okay. So cool. There's that stuff, you know, TCGs, board games. And, yeah. Um, obviously, going to the gym is a, is a big thing if you want to consider that a hobby. Yeah, I, I think. I think it makes sense as a hobby, especially because you do it because you enjoy it, right? Yeah. Like you're yeah, not just totally. doing it because you're like, oh, I got to stay. I have to stay in, in shape and I'm doing it for health. It's like, man, I enjoy working out. I enjoy going to the gym. I'd say, yep. I'd say that works as yep, a hobby. For sure. Cool. Yeah. That's um, a good one. All right. And I'm ready to start whenever you are. All right. I got to put down Jack and then we'll start up. So let's do... Um, uh, are we playing Mulligan? By yeah, the way? yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to, go for it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll Mulligan then. If you want to see, um, a little low on defenses, so that's not great. Ooh, but you do have the uh, the horns there. So. You have the horns, yeah. So it's a little, uh, I don't know. You're Maybe the Mulligan I'll man, so that makes it. sense. The Mulligan man. Yeah, exactly. I have to. You had so to. Kind of obligated. Um, all right, and you can start whenever you whenever you want. Cool, cool. All right, and let me get to uh, let me see, let's see, let's see. Dogs and dogs or cats? Oh, cats for sure. No um, way, please. I yeah, dude. I grew up my whole life with dogs. Funny enough, um, we never had a cat growing up. We had dogs and we had birds. Uh, but now, recently, like within the last uh, few years, um, me and my girlfriend have gotten some cats, and they're amazing. They're like so much easier to take care of and you don't got to worry about leaving you can just leave food for them and right pretty much take care of themselves which is great all right that makes sense the the, the ease of taking care of a cat for sure uh is way better than a dog it's like way easier than a dog but do yeah. you get the same amount of love from the cats or would you say you do not uh, from one of my cats, I would actually say yes, which was really surprising to me. He was the first cat we ever got, so the first one I ever had, and I was skeptical, but like 
Yeah, he he actually is kind of like a dog. Like if you call his name, he'll come to you, and he like greets you at the door when you come home, and he will like when he knows it's bedtime, he'll follow you up to bed and like snuggle in bed like every single night. So it's That's pretty cute. incredible. That's cute. Yeah, it's very cute. The other one, not as much. It's only when she wants to, like on her terms, but right. every once in a while. So I think it really depends on the cat. Um, and you can throw the car, the tax down here in the little tax zone. Um, perfect, perfect. I need to put those little symbols there to make it more clear. All right. Um, what is this? A regroup? You think I'm scared of your regroups? I ain't scared of your regroups. No. Okay, oh. you can take it. <laughs> I, I wish it was a regroup, man. I wish. Uh, Where do you want me to discard pile? Uh, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, run along the the whole the huge. Pan it out like group them. Exactly right, and then group them together. Yep. Okay. Yep, sounds good. All right, and by the way, guys, you will see a lot of play mistakes from my end at least. I don't know about his end, but um, I am, I am, interviewing, and I happen to be playing on match. All right, that's how I'm, that's how I'm doing this. Yeah, way. same, same. Um, if it's sloppy play or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do not judge us because of that. Uh, but yeah, speaking of, of that, stakes, let's just game. drop a trap right there. Oh yeah. Um. And. He's gonna blast me. What, is, what am I gonna do here? What should we do? I'll attack you with uh, Muldoon. Muldoony boy, first action gonna blast me, huh? Uh, well, this could be something like a shooter or a what is it? They should all be destroyed. A fiver, or it can be a regroup because you know I'm gonna want to cancel those cards. And if that's the case, I don't know. But. Uh, Let's just do a feint. Yay! All right. Yeah. That works. That works. It's still, I mean, it's still a good feint. It's not not terrible. Yeah, it's okay. It's but okay. Uh, I did. I was happy with the feint there. I didn't really want an imagination, so we'll take that. Um, and then I right. will uh, maneuver. And we got to run away from this big old behemoth. One. <laughs> yes, um, sir. Two. Yeah, we're gonna go there. Let's go there, and there. That's pretty cool. Um, and, uh, well, wait, what's your, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I see what you're doing. What am I doing? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what you're doing. All right. Uh, go for <laughs> it. Your turn. I'll ask the next question. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. What is your biggest pet peeve in Unmatched? And then also, what is your biggest pet peeve in life? Oh, geez. Hard questions. Uh, We're getting real, okay? We're getting pet real. Peeve. Pet peeve as in like something that annoys me personally or just something I don't like to see people do because I think it's bad. I like I like both. Yeah. Th things that <laughs> things that irk you. Things that just like, man, this is frustrating um, for whatever reason, whatever it is. I like I like both of those there. Um I guess things that irk me, not a lot irks me really that much. Um, like I mostly play online nowadays, so right. Uh, just kind of like I don't know, fidgeting a lot, like mm. like flipping the like flipping the tokens around and like just like whipping things around, like yes, jeez, kind of annoying. Um, yep. Things I don't like to see are like I don't know, like boosting when there's absolutely no need to boost like but that but they just don't know what they're doing you can't <laughs> i mean yeah but like some games it's like oh this guy's running away from me so let me like maneuver and oh i can't reach him this t this act i know so let me like maneuver again and like boost to get close right next to and him. then the opponent just runs right around to the opposite end and, yeah like, yeah so chasing after somebody instead of taking center they stage. just don't know about center stage right it's just it's just it's things that you don't know until you know yeah, exactly. That's, that's funny. Okay. Um, everyone's got to learn at some point. Right, but, right, But yeah, right. come on. Come so on. You got to take center. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You'll um, never reach it if you keep chasing. Hey, so, you got to keep uh, playing, by the way. During your turn, you got to keep playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. All right. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard, man. It's hard <laughs> I'm, to Because I'm going to keep the questions coming. You got to keep <laughs> You got to keep making suboptimal plays. That's my way to winning here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, um, okay. You got five cards in hand. And then in life. All your right, pet peeve in life also. Biggest pet peeve in life, man. I don't really know. I don't get annoyed that much, honestly. I'm pretty easygoing. Okay. Um, yeah, I can see that. I mean, it's just like 
I don't know, when people like chew really loudly, like oh. smack in their lips, kind of annoying. <laughs> do not, do not eat with O Town then, okay? He's an, a- he's an animal. He's a monster. His, yeah. his dad, <laughs> he was my boss for a while. Uh, his dad chews with his mouth open as well. And it Ooh. just, like, I I cannot <laughs> stand it. Terrible, it, man. It's, it's terrible. so bad. Oh, it's so bad. Uh-huh. It's just like, the like, what do you, have you never, like, sat with somebody that did that and, like, heard what it sounds like and seen it, like, visually? Oh, okay, sorry. Sorry, this is your question. I'm sorry. Right. Um, yeah, that's, it's, oh, it's rough, guys. No, it's all good, man. It's all good. All right, so did you, are you maneuvering? What are you doing here? <laughs> yeah, I did a double maneuver, so you draw one because I popped the trap. Oh, okay. I took my damage. Okay, interesting. It means you got a, a jackalope scheme, I'm assuming. Uh, let's draw the card. Uh, anything. I'm gonna surround you, and you're never gonna. You're not gonna know what to do. We'll go. There. All right. Um, oh yeah. Here's a layup for you. Okay. Uh, what's your pref- what's what's your preferred uh, unmatched format, and why? It's a layup, I, I believe. But what is it? Like competitive format. Yeah. What's your what's or your preferred? Or like a two v two versus. Uh, no Whoa versus no 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 what's your, i mean i mean unless it's like a unique answer but... format yeah competitive format and is it my turn uh i mean if it's party format yeah competitive format band quest for sure yeah you're okay cool definitely band quest though so band quest um, has has I replaced your conquest all it's just got everything sorry is has it replaced your it has conquest? Replaced conquest yeah because you were the the pioneer. Oh, of for sure. Literally, like conquest is just. Yeah, I mean, I just took conquest from Hearthstone. Honestly, um, like, it's kind of a common format used in games, but uh, it's just band quest does everything conquest does, but just better. Hmm. Okay. So, you know, the format had to evolve with the game and the release of more fighters. Conquest just didn't work anymore. So Banquest is just the updated and better version. All right, I mean, so... I do like Arsenal too, though. I know there's a lot of Arsenal enjoyers. It's fun. It's just a little too random for me, like, in a competitive sense. But... Mm-hmm. Mm. We're getting, we're, getting, we're getting in a dicey spot here. Okay. Um... Are you? Yeah, I like Arsenal a lot. It's it is it is definitely more random for sure. All right, and then I'll attack you with the worker. Worker, worker, worker. Um, All on match is good on match though. It is. It really is. Um, uh, if you guys got worker, questions, worker, shoot them in the chat. Good. This has been fun. Let's do the hoax. Okay. Yeah, thought about that. Definitely. One, two, three, and which one? Four, five? Do I want to pin myself in? I don't think that's, well, maybe that's fine. No, it's not fine. I'll go here. Okay. And then uh, who is your favorite fighter and why? Oh, that's an easy one. Favorites, obviously, Yenanga. Okay, yep. Why is because she can handle literally every matchup in the game except for, like, two, maybe three now with Golden Bat. Like, you got Sinbad, you got Bloody Mary, and now Golden Bat. Otherwise, she can handle anything. And I like that versatility. I like to always feel like I'm in the game. Yeah. You feel you feel Bloody Mary is an actual a hard counter. Is that what you're yes. saying? Yes. Uh, yeah, I would say so. Okay. We're hitting the worker. The worker. You know yeah. I don't value the workers. I know. That's why I'm getting my card draw. <laughs> <laughs> Take it. 
See if I care. All right. Yeah. Second action. And then second action, we will. Yeah, you know what? Actually, you're at seven cards in hand, huh? I yeah. can just back run off. Run away from me. See if I yeah, care. Yeah, I can just run away. What does it matter? I will maneuver away. Okay. One, two, three. One, two. Well, one, two, three. Okay, I'm good there. It's your turn. All right. All right, so here is uh, a good question, I think, that will be beneficial to the viewers who are wanting to get better unmatched, and that is, what's the biggest mistake that you notice in people's gameplay, and how do you recommend improving? Um, that's funny enough. I mean, that kind of leads into one of the other questions you had about, you right. know, when I... Pet peeves. Center stage. That's, yeah. I mean, you have to know about center stage. Um, if you don't, your positioning game is just going to be so off. Um, but another thing that's like super, super crucial in this game is understanding initiative and how that ties into like the fatigue game mm -hmm. because initiative is not solely dictated by hand count because some fighters can afford to overdraw and really not care at all about right. the overdraw. Right. Uh, so it has to do with deck count, it has to do with hand count, it has to do with the like deck composition of the fighter. So there's just so much that goes into it. All right. Um, A worker's gonna attack Jackalope. Worker into Jackalope. Worker, worker, worker. Um we can faint the worker. Yeah, good faint, good faint. Nice, nice. That was a good faint. All right, and your turn. Okay, what's horns? Oh boy, not like this. <laughs> is it going to be the worker or um, Muldoon? Of course, Muldoon. <laughs> Just checking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I will maneuver. Oh man, you're going for the, for this, the, the. The snooze, the snooze uh, <laughs> round. I guess you're just going for, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Listen, hey, listen, it's fine. <laughs> um, it's fine. Uh, and who do you play as the most? I assume it is also Yanenga, but maybe it's not. Who do you play as the most? Yeah, it's definitely Yanenga. Okay. Um, nowadays, I, it's your turn, by the way. Okay. Um, but nowadays, like, I really just don't get to play, like, at all, basically, outside of, um, my few matchup of the month games and like my tourney matches uh, or if it's like something special like this so this is nice to actually get to play cool. uh, but I really don't get to play at all nowadays so whenever I do play it's because a new set came out and I have to at bare minimum at least test Yanenga into the new fighters to see if she can still handle them mm -hmm. so, okay yeah almost all my games is like Yanenga basically um, I'm going to maneuver and we're going to send, what do we do? One, two, three. Just so crazy. It, it just might work. Oh boy. Is this a really bad idea or a really good idea? That's the question you have to Hard. ask yourself. Um, and then I will attack you with... Yeah, we'll do Muldoon. Muldoon, Muldoon. Let's do... Mm, an Imagination. Yay! Ooh. The risky regroup. Good regroup. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. All right, and it's your turn. Um, what is your favorite map and why? Favorite map. Um. Throwing down the the hits, attacking, attacking. Okay. Favorite map. If we're talking like competitive, I think. Sunnydale probably because it's Just, very yeah. neutral 
Um, and I've just like, I've played on that map probably more than most maps just because of how neutral it is. And like, I think Yananga just likes it in general. So probably Sunnydale, but if we're talking like just fun factor, um, I think I, I really like, um, the high ground, I think on hanging gardens. Okay. Yeah, I love um, okay. love hanging gardens. So much fun. Now you're yes. you're not a big map token guy, right? Uh right. I mean they are fun, but for competitive, not so much. That was a really good leap away, by the way. Hey, thank you. I'm gonna keep you here. Yeah. Um I mean I could get out, but then I gotta take a trap pop, huh? No, you gotta stay in your zone. That's not well, right. I mean, I could go here and then maneuver. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. But that's not, a, that's not great. Huh. I mean, I guess I will do that, though, and then I'll maneuver. I'll pop the trap. So Jack will take a damage. I'll draw a card. And we'll go one, two, three... We'll keep you close and then i'll uh end turn and i'm thinking about ability let me okay five go one two three four seven cards in hand yeah i'll take my ability and then it's your turn all right let me look at this comment real quick um says hi everyone what do you guys think do we get something like a standard format for hearthstone for tourneys where we have limited characters and map to pick when we hit like 80 characters online what do you think about that zero oh that's a good question i think that's something the tos have been pondering for a while um i imagine that at some point we probably will have to do some sort of a uh, standard format i don't know if that would be the most recent handful of fighters or if it would be like a rotating you know roster kind of like ladder but a, a much bigger roster mm -hmm. so that you have you know maybe i don't know 50 at a time or 40 i don't know just whatever feels right but a big a big roster that rotates mm -hmm. um or be the most recent i'm not sure uh, but i think at some point we probably will have to do that because it just gets to be too difficult for new players to keep up with all those uh new fighters like if you are a new player jumping into the game and there's 80 plus fighters how are you ever gonna like have enough time to practice for a tournament right so right i think most likely that will be a thing eventually i'll attack uh, jackalope with uh the warden the warden <laughs> and the warden's um, standing on a trap is he not oh look at Ooh. that he is oh look at that oh it's lo and behold Probably a five, huh? No. Do a skirmish. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. it's a five. Uh huh. <laughs> but you could argue that's wasted damage. I'm not getting that on the on the big fella. Um, uh, and that's it's your turn. My turn. Um, all right. How long have you been playing unmatched? Oh, for a long time. Um. It came out in, I want to say, like the end of 2019 or maybe really early 2020, but I think it was 2019, actually, the end of 2019. And I've been playing since 2020. Okay. Um, so, what, four years now, just about. We I probably started around March of 2020, so just over four years. Cool. Okay. Yeah, wow. Uh, very cool. Very, very cool. fun game. Very yeah, thank fun. you, uh, Theron, Therondor Eagle. Um, glad you made it this far, and yeah, check it out at the end. Um, he appreciates the thematic matchups, is what he's saying. Um, yeah, awesome. Hunter versus the uh, the cryptid. Uh, yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. We got some good stuff. Let me let me let me pivot off of unmatched real quick with this next question. Sure, What's the sure. best gift you've ever received? Oh boy! It's your turn, right? Uh. Yeah, it's my turn. Okay. Best, Best gift. gift I've ever received. Yeah. Uh, that's hard because my girlfriend gets me a lot of really good gifts. Good job, <laughs> good job girlfriend. Gift giving. Yeah, her name's Harley. She does good job, a great Harley. job. 
Ooh. Um, she got me uh, probably like an acoustic guitar. That uh, that's probably the best gift. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of others that I'm forgetting, but yeah, that's a great one for sure. Cool. Um, I'm gonna horns you. Okay. We're just gonna stay in place, actually. Can you stay in place with the horns? Oh, is it May? Yeah, I'm gonna you move. May move. Zero. Okay. Yeah. Up to five. Okay. I was I thought I was thinking like uh, T Rex or something. I don't know what I was thinking. All right. You're good. You're good. Uh, one, two, three, and maybe one. I'll go there, and it's your turn. Okay. Um. All right, I'm going to attack Bigfoot with the worker. Bigfoot with the worker. Mm. Let's do... Uh, and then while you're thinking about that, which is the correct way to roll the toilet paper? Oh, definitely with the sheet hanging down, like, in front. Of course. <laughs> of course. Definitely. Amen. That's not even a question. There's no question. The people that no argue for the other are psychotic. Yes. Like, what are they thinking? Ooh, okay. Ooh, shot, huh? you, he, you, you thought it was my uh, regroup, or just you, you didn't care about two damage, you were thinking? Yeah, um, I don't care. That's fine. Um, I'm going to boost it. I wish I had my little threes. Hint, I don't. Uh, I'll boost it with a, okay. with a de detonation for three damage. Yep. Um, and then you drew. Okay. Um, interesting. Um, 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 Sound like a car. I'll maneuver. <laughs> Let's go there. Um. Yeah, we'll do that one. All right, and your turn. All right. Uh, one, three, you six in hand. Let's do a maneuver. Funny enough, the toilet paper thing, uh, my girlfriend says the other way around is the right way. And I'm like... Is she just no trying way. to be, like, you know, cute? <laughs> Controversial? Yeah. Or, I don't know, but it's obviously not right. Yeah, she's not... <laughs> she's just trolling you for sure. No way. No oh, yeah. way. Like, Heck no. We'll go like this, and then it's your turn. Oh, Wow. You are making me want to attack you. Makes me think that you got something a little crazy. Um, <laughs> what would make you think that? Yeah. I'll... <clears throat> to trap or not to trap? That is the question. Speaking of slings uh, and arrows, how are you? How are you feeling? What do you? What's your excitement level? Do you already have this set? I assume you do. Uh, yes. And how, how much? How much do you love it? Who's your favorite? What can you say about it without ruining anything? Without get, yeah. without bre breaching your uh, NDA. <laughs> right. Not not too much that I can say. Other than it's an amazing set. It's very thematic, and the art is incredible. Um. I love the public domain four packs. Mm -hmm. Those are my favorite sets. Yeah, so much value. Uh, yeah, lowest so, price so point for the most content. Yep, and um, it's a yeah, it's a really great set. I don't think I have a favorite just yet because I honestly haven't played them all that many times. Mm -hmm. I think I played. Um, I'm gonna call. I play. Okay, I played. Um, I think Titania like once or twice. I think I played two games with Titania. I played uh, like maybe two or three games with Hamlet. 
Uh, I think I played Shakespeare once, and then the sisters, I think I played maybe twice or so. Um, so not a whole ton of plays yet, but it's been super fun. I think people are really going to like it. Uh, I can say like my thought on the comp like the power level of the set, I think is pretty good because I think most of them are around like mid tier. Okay. Um, and I think that's the kind of a sweet spot. Uh, I think TTA um, is a stronger set overall in the meta. Okay, yeah. Um, and it's your turn, by the way. But, okay, cool. But keep going, keep going. Yeah, but I think TTA, like, they, they impacted the meta a, a lot. And I don't think this set is going to do that, but I still think that if you want to play some of these characters in competitive setting, you can definitely find, uh, like, certain drafts and certain spots to do so. Okay. Sure. So it's going to be good. Uh, what do I want to do here? Uh, you're hunkering, huh? No. Why are you hunkering like this? I'll maneuver. He forgot to mention that it's the best set ever made. That's what my Tosis said. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, I, I don't know. I don't think it's the best set ever, but I think it's a good one for sure. Um, how do you feel about like Shakespeare and, and all that? Do you have any any uh, tie to the theme other than Unmatched? Uh, no. No, I don't. Um, I've not like read or watched or anything like a lot of Shakespeare. A little bit, but uh, I definitely am no connoisseur. So, how about you? You, uh, I think I saw one of your streams or something that had, uh, yeah, you talked about Shakespeare. You're a pretty big fan, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, so I'm, I'm a movie guy. So, um, I've watched, uh, a lot of the Shakespeare movies. And I, especially when the set was coming out and like being really like announced and stuff, I, I watched a bunch of them to, to see like what, what I could expect and what I like to like theorize, you know, what, what fighters are going to do what and that kind of stuff. And, um, sure. and why did they make a set on these fighters? That kind of thing. So yeah, thematically it's, it's an interesting one. Um, all right. What'd you check out? Uh, Chuck to savagery. Ooh. And we're going to go, uh, where do I want to go? I think we'll do Bigfoot onto the trap are you boosting or... with it yeah i'm boosting with it we're gonna actually bring bigfoot over here and jack lope can go uh jack lope can pop the trap actually okay and then We'll have Bigfoot attack into this worker right here. Oh, let me move my card. Let's do this one. Nice. We got a leap. Dang. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I forgot you had shifts in your deck. Not No joke. That was awful. Yeah. That was rough. Oh, boy. <laughs> Uh, I was so confident that you're doing a four to, to bounce him away and whatnot. Um, right. So confident you're doing that. All right. Yep. Ouchie, ouchie. That's a big one. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, 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 well. Uh, Matosa said I was a pretty. I was, he was pretty into their theater, into the theater stuff as a kid. They picked my three favorite players i think is what you said i can't plays three favorite plays cool that's awesome um, what are the three favorites so his three favorites would be um i guess only three of them are from plays right and right that's the, the other one is shakespeare right so the, the three plays Amazing. are macbeth hamlet and then uh a midsummer night's dream uh, and they're all those are all very good they're all very good um all right let's go attack with the worker to Bigfoot. Okay, let's see. 
Um, I saw your stream you talking about uh, the Midsummer Night's Dream a bit. And yeah. And I'm a little bit familiar with Hamlet, but what is Macbeth all about? Macbeth, dude. Dude, it's a bloodbath. Um, yeah, it's it's odd because... And I'm attacking um, a Bigfoot. Did I say that? Yep, okay. yep, yep. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a bloodbath. And... Um, I mean, basically, yeah, so you have, the first off, the, the, the witches, the sisters, the wayward sisters, I think that's what they are in the set, uh, the wayward sisters are, they, they start the play, and they end the play, and then they appear like twice throughout the play, besides that, oh, what a take, <laughs> good take, nice. what a risky take, he's like, you know what, I don't care about three damage, yeah, um, come on, so I'll draw that's two, I'll draw two, and then so I'll attack. I'll at oh 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 hot dog. Um, interesting. I don't like this. I don't like where we are right now. I'm just gonna be honest. <laughs> I might just not have defense, you know. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think I don't group, think you but... do have defense. Uh, I'm gonna attack. Um, let's attack Bigfoot with the the worker. Um, uh, you can take it again if you want. Um, so yeah, it's a, uh, it's an odd, it's an odd one. Basically, you know, there's, there's like wife, uh, a wife who is power hungry and, and she's able to get her husband to do things and, and people die and it's, there's a lot. Um, but so yeah, where it's do a, the sisters come in? Say again? Where do the sisters come in? They... Kind of the the question is basically do they make it happen by saying they they come at the story at the beginning and they say this is what's going to happen and so then the question is do they actually make it happen or does it happen because they said it um, all right so then I'll draw a card you take a damage you took the damage already yep okay and then I'll pop you to. I don't like what you're doing. It's not very nice. <laughs> Fine. Don't worry. <laughs> well, you know what? You're right there. I'll let you pin me if you want it. Okay. I don't think you want it. My turn? Uh, e yeah, your turn. Okay. Maybe, Maybe you do want it. Um, yeah, it's a, good, it's a good one, though. It's very interesting. Um, all right. What's your favorite card in the entire game? Uh, ooh, favorite card. That's a tough one. Favorite card. I mean, it, it's got to be like within the context of the deck. Oh, actually, I have two. I was I was about to say three wishes, but. I think I gotta say Budapest for Black Widow. Um, both cards are obviously very, very strong. They definitely are uh, crazy schemes that turn the tides in the game. Um, so yeah, I love both of them. Um, if it's like favorite card in general, like common card, I think it would be Skirmish because I think Skirmish is just the most versatile and just coolest card in the game because it's got so many uses. You can use it to like faint punish. You can max value block with it and use it to get out, like to avoid double attacks. There's just so many cool things you can do with Skirmish. Mm -hmm. So it's gotta be my favorite common card. But then Budapest, I think overall is just my favorite. My turn, right? Mm-hmm. I'll attack with Muldoon to the Jackalope. Jackie boy. Jackie boy. Um, Jackie boy. So you said it was between Budapest and then what card initially? Budapest is the all-time favorite. Oh, between that and I was going to say Three Wishes. That was the first card okay. that jumped to mind. Right. Bikini. Because that card just does literally everything. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I think... Um, Budapest beats it out just slightly because of how 
much it swings the momentum of the game. So what does that card say about you? What did those cards say about you? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I think uh, I like I like uh, to catch people by surprise. I like big pop-off turns. Okay. Even though it doesn't seem like it, because I often play very grindy fatigue. Yeah, games, super but... grindy fatigue, right. Yeah. I love, okay, maybe what it says most about me, more than anything, is I love to punish people for their mistakes. Ooh, that's, because... a, ooh, that's a little cruel. I like it. Okay. That's it. I mean, that's it. I love to punish people. That's very because... honest. Yeah, I mean, Budapest, it's like, oh, you attacked when I had four cards in hand? Why would you ever do that? Now you're ending in my zone, and I'm going to massively punish you by popping the Budapest and blasting you. So, cool. like, don't attack into me when I have four cards if you don't want to get punished. We legitimately um, lost three with... viewers as soon as you said that. Not because you said that. I, I think because you didn't play a defense yet, but be... oh, <laughs> but yeah, they yeah, left. Yeah. Okay, they're, like, they're like, oh, screw this guy. He's a meanie. <laughs> Jack um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, no, you're good. You're good. You're good. Um, Do a skirmish. Nice one damage. Yep. Um, and then I'll attack Jackalope again with Muldoon. Um, uh, yeah, it's good. I like that. It's very. It's very. Uh, that makes sense. It makes a lot of sense what you're saying. All right, one damage. And then same thing with wishes, you know? It's like, oh, you attacked me with, like, not the right number of cards in hand? Let me ditch your whole hand and blast you. Same mm -hmm. thing. It's just That's got to be my best answer is I just like to punish people's mistakes. <laughs> that's great. Uh, and your okay. turn. My turn. Yeah. Yep. All right. Um, let's see. Let's see. I will maneuver. I don't think this game's going too well for me. One, two, three. Uh, let's see what else. One, two. No, I gotta get more center. Oh, by the way, so um, three. Yeah, is your <laughs> yeah probably. So uh, mitosis gives a little more uh, backstory on the Macbeth. He says the sisters tell Macbeth a prophecy in which he becomes king of Scotland through either means fair or foul this spirals him into killing the king things go crazy in the follow-up he said i always read the sisters as an incarnation of the morrigan a powerful malevolent spirit from celtic lore who is associated with the number three fits the appearance sets fits that appear that their appearance sets chaos in motion okay interesting um and then uh i don't know how to say the name but it says op Map, <laughs> it's a different language. Uh, but Op, we'll call him Opk, uh, says, uh, so your favorite hero is the Punisher. Would you agree? The Punisher? <laughs> yeah, would you concur? I actually never seen it, so no, I can't say that that's true. Okay. Um, there's multiple it versions. Sounds, sounds thematic, right? It sounds on point. <laughs> um, yeah, there's, there's, there are multiple versions. Um, I'm gonna drop a trap right there, and then. Oh I, no! Am I gonna get remote detonation? Yeah, you got oh, remote. Have, you got remoted. I have left. <laughs> you got remoted. Wow, that's awesome! I shouldn't have left. I should have brought him this, up. This, by the way, I think that is the only time I've ever played that card, as a non-pass. Yeah, that was cool. That was cool. I'm glad we got to see that. Um, now, does the trap go away? Yeah. Yeah, okay, and you so draw. It's, it's just a classic. It's a classic uh, trap. Okay, cool. Yep. That was neat. That was real neat. All right. Um, I mean, I think that means I lose, but that was a cool play. Thank you. Thank you. Um, all right. So now here's the thing, though. This is this is the point in the game where you know they're they're watching the stream. The commentators are like, "Oh, that's it. This is where he's gonna lose the game." And then this is yep. where I comment as always, and I say, "Guys, it's zero skater that we are talking about." <laughs> he is not going to make a mistake. And so the other player has to play literally perfect to win it. And yeah. usually there is the slightest of errors, whether it's like, you know, not planning out this, like, oh, if this happened, then this was going to happen. And so then this was going to happen. Like, you know, like those like three, four step kind of things. And that's what usually does it. So, um, right. I'm not ruling anything out yet. Um, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Closing out is probably my weakness. It's gonna, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna maneuver. 
One, two, three. No, like see there it was. There it was. That was the move right there. I almost did it. We'll go like <laughs> we'll go like that. Just in case you have a little little what's it called? Leap through the trees, whatever. There you go. Yep. Alright, um, your turn. Good there. Alright. We'll maneuver. We'll just go one space up here and um we'll attack the, the worker. Okay, so you're definitely expecting is this is this are you just gonna drop your mementuses? You just dropping mementuses now? Is that what we're doing? I mean it guarantees a kill. Yeah, you are all about that life, aren't you? <laughs> you are about that life. Oh but of course. It's the time that I would have blocked. See that that's so annoying. That's, yeah, yeah. Alright, so, so now I gotta jump in somewhere. Where do I yep. wanna go? Maybe here. Yeah, I'm good here. All right, here. so Orc Martin. Oh, okay, yeah, hey Orc, Orc Martin. Um, he has a nickname on YouTube. That's funny. Um, so what's one thing that you wish that you knew about Unmatched when you were just starting out? Something that you wish you knew. Um, it could be taken however you want, but what's something you wish you knew when you were just starting? My turn, uh, right? Yeah, your turn. Something I wish I knew when I was starting. Well, I wish I knew uh, that the game was uh, a 1v1 game. <laughs> right? <laughs> funny story, I, I thought it was solely a 2v2 game when I first started and it sat on our shelf for like three or four months because uh -huh. my girlfriend actually got it from her brother for Christmas. Wow. And like I said, I started in 2020. It was like March ish of 2020. So it sat for like three months on the shelf because we were waiting to get a group of four who, you know, would really enjoy the game. Right. Uh, so yeah, there could have been three more months. I could have been playing this game already. That's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. I had a similar kind of thing where, um, I bought it, um, I'm going to maneuver. Yep. Um, let's go one, two, let's go right there. Is this, is this crazy? One, two. Yeah, we'll go there. That's a little crazy. One, two, three, four, five. That's wild. Um. I don't, I don't love that. I don't love that. This is my first action or second action? Uh, first, I think. First, right? Yeah. And and this guy was there, and this guy was there. Yep. Okay, this is, this is, who knows what this is. I'll attack. Um, yeah, it just sat on my shelf. Um, I had played it with my, uh, with my friend. All right. Your turn. Who'd you play it with? Was it O-Town? No, no, he was the last person I played with, really. Um, so I, I played with, uh... Two friends, two of my like serious gaming group. So I've got a whole. I'm, I'm huge into board games. Um, go to the convention and stuff. We go to Dice Tower Con every year. And um, boosting, boosty woosty. Yep. I'm gonna have to. All right. Okay. Yep. Yep. Definitely. All right. Your turn. Um. All right. Let's do a trap. There, so this, this is where it starts getting a little tense, you know? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> I don't think you got anything to worry about. I don't know. This is this is this is where Bigfoot loses when he can't get off all three jackalope horns. Yeah. Maybe. 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 Unless Muldoon doesn't max block everything, but you've max blocked all the big attacks, right. so you're fine. Um, like if you throw a feint into a log, okay, then I can win. I'll but... attack you. Uh... Probably 
probably just a uh, rending. You push me into the trap and attack me again. Um, you have a lot of rendings left. Uh, but yeah, we played it three player, four player version. So it was, it was, um, yeah, I'll push onto the trap. Yep. Um, and then I will maneuver. And your turn. Um, yeah, we, uh, it was just, it was a bad idea. We played, uh, I I was commanding I was it was the column of fog all right because I got it because of the theme I was like this looks so cool like the artwork's incredible this is gonna, this is gonna be awesome I had no idea what it was, and um, I was playing as like probably Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde and maybe the Invisible Man and then my friend was yeah that's what it was my friend was uh, Sherlock and then my other friend was Dracula and. Um, And, uh, yeah, it's not a fun way to play <laughs> because you just know, no. I knew I had so much information. I easily won. Um, but like, it was still cool to like, to be like, Oh, you had a six and Oh, you had like, Oh, that was so Sherlocky. Like that was, Oh, that was so cool. And so it felt really cool, but it, at the same time it wasn't like unmatched. My turn. Right. Yeah. Your turn. Um, and I enjoyed it, but they did not. And so I was like, all right. So just sat on my shelf for a very long time. Uh, until I was looking for a date night game. I mean, I'm always searching for good date night games for my wife. Um, and my wife and I to play because she does not like war games. It's like the hardest. Oh, wow. It's the hardest thing, guys. It's the hardest thing. Um, yeah. And uh, let's think real quick. This, this is this is coming down to it. So let me think real quick about this. What are we doing? What are we doing <laughs> this here? This is easy. It's an easy win. What are we doing here? I'll maneuver. You got this. One, two. Um. What am I? What am I doing? Do we send that one guy to you? Yeah, we do. Heck yeah. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Are you in? The, are you in that spot? Is that the spot? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can count. Uh, I maneuvered first. Interesting yeah. choice. Interesting choice, Eric. Uh, Captain, Captain, sorry. Uh, <laughs> let's do that, and we'll do that, and then. Gonna call in some friends. Yeah, let's call in our friends because you're never gonna kill the last guy anyways. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. Right, right. Yeah, we'll do that, and it's your turn. Um. Yeah, so then we played it, and I loved it. My wife really loved it too, which was really cool. I was like, "Oh, this is awesome!" I finally found a game that she likes. And then, like, dude, I went the, the classic unmatched story, right? Where you just I went so hard into unmatched, and she, it's like we got we got married, and she's like, "Oh, I love football." I was like, "Oh, you love football? I love football." And then she realized what loving football looked like, and she's like, "I don't love football." <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? She thought she loved football compared to everybody she knew. And then she uh -huh. saw me and realized, oh, that's what loving football looks like. And then she realized she did not love football. It was okay. it's kind of that kind of thing. <laughs> that's um, funny. Yeah, so we, we don't play unmatched. Uh, she does it every once in a while for like a really like like a really special treat for like my our date nights and stuff. She'll like, all right, let's play unmatched. I'm like, yes, sure. thank you. Um, Very good. Go. But yeah, there's not not as much anymore. Um, Oak Oak Martin says, "Who's your favorite hero if it's not Punisher?" Um, Spider Man. Spider Man. Say. Just just a classic. Yeah, player. I mean that's a pretty basic answer. Yeah, 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 pretty pretty basic answer. But he's great. My turn. He's the one I grew up watching the most. Yeah, it's your turn. Okay. Yeah, I used to you know watch Spider Man on Saturday morning cartoons and whatnot. So right, he was always my favorite. I love like Venom as a villain. He was always the coolest, in my opinion. 
And then um, I really like Thor as well. Thor is awesome. I'll maneuver. What do you got? Do you got any? What do you got over here? You got more feints? No, no cancels. You're you're out of all your cancels. You got a yeah. hoax still. Interesting. Well, we can't do that then, can we? Yeah, we can't. We just gotta. We gotta be smart. Let's be smart. I'll maneuver again. Yep. And your turn. Uh, um, okay. Did I ask you a question? I'm sorry. I, mean, I don't think there's anything open ended. We were talking about uh, the superhero right, favorite. Right, uh, right, 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 right. Um, okay. Oh, what is your favorite set and why? Mm. I always used to say Cobble and Fog. Because that was the very first new set that came out when after I started the game, and we were so hyped for that set, mm -hmm. and I thought all the characters were just so cool and so thematic. Um, but now, that's probably changed. Um, I'm gonna go one, two, three, pop the trap, and then four. I forgot that was allowed. You sneaky, I... sneaky sneakerton. That is right. That's how that works. <laughs> Still don't think it's gonna really make the difference, but it's a cool play. I was hoping you were gonna end like this, and I'd sneak into oh, this pocket right yeah, here. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, yeah, I'm not a schmuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna. I thought about attacking you, but my guy was there, and and then my movement would have happened after yours, and you could have uh, what's it called, hoaxed yeah. in there. So right. yeah, I did not want to. I couldn't risk it. Yeah, go. All right, you ready for a real, a real, real uh, like brain burner, That's heart, turn. heart turner? No, not yet. I gotta, my, I gotta finish my favorite set. Um, oh, okay, sorry, I think sorry. That's cheating. Yeah, yeah, go, it go on. It was, go. it was Cobble and Fog, but, um, honestly, I feel like it might be Houdini and Genie now because. I think both of those fighters are just absolutely incredible. They're a ton of fun. They're super unique, super thematic. The art's awesome. And, like, it's just probably the best two-pack that we've ever had. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, how do you feel about Sun's Origin? Because it's, like, in my opinion, that rivals it. Um, it's a different play style, so I guess, I guess your play style... Well, it's interesting, actually, because it's super aggro, and you're not super, super aggro. Um, right. Um, Sun's Origin is good, but it's nowhere near my favorite. Like, I like Little Red and Bayo more than that one, as far as two packs go. Honestly, that's probably like on the lower end of my two pack list. Other, like, the lowest of the low is probably like Battler versus T Rex, because I don't care about that at all. And Muldoon versus Raptors is better than the other Jurassic Park, I think. And mm. so. I don't know. Sun's Origin, like, it's the art is amazing. Uh, and the characters are cool, but they just don't, like, I don't vibe with them that much. Right, okay. Actually, wait, so here, so we were like this. So we're gonna go one, two, three. Is that crazy? One, two, three. That is crazy. Dang it. I don't feel good about this. You're fine. I don't feel good about it. <laughs> Um, I'll attack you with the... I don't worry about Uh, yeah, I'm gonna attack you with the worker. Uh, worker, worker, worker. Um... Man, I don't know. What do I do about this worker? He can hit with what? A feint or a rending shot. Uh, there's a good chance it's a rending. So. Uh, 
what else do I have left in deck even? One card? What is the one card? Hmm. Let's do, uh... I'll do this one. All right. Um, so I'll go one, two. Sure, I'll do that. That's weird. All right, and uh, your turn. Um, I gotta just okay. give it a card. Let me give it a card. Um, yep. Let's check out. Yeah, sure. Let's get rid of... We'll get rid of this. Mm. Have at him. Um, Have at Alright, last... Uh, not last question, but one of the, one of the last questions. Um, when in your life did you feel the most loved and cared for and why? Oh, uh, that's a tough question. Um, last, I, like the most recent time, um, I don't know. It's like, it's kind of weird, but like after like every tournament finals, I, I feel like, uh, that's like a big sense of like, caring and uh like a mm. job well done kind of thing right because like so much goes into the production and like there's so many people in the community who all really enjoy it and uh it's just the culmination of a big chunk of my life you know unmatched has become a big thing in that's my cool. life so yeah um so yeah probably that was pretty recent that was like last two last week two weeks ago right awesome yeah and you that finished last... top four Top right? four. Top yep. four. Yeah, I was uh -huh. so surprised when, when I found out you guys weren't in the in the finals together. I know, dude. I know. It's so sad. <laughs> um, yeah, so what – yeah, let's talk about what, – I forgot I forgot to ask all the questions about Winter Champions. Um, yeah, it's all good. But, yeah, so, like, as you're doing your turn, like, um, what uh, – walk us through that journey, uh, getting to top four uh, with Chad, the dream that it's alive, and then – your game against you played Phantom, right? Yes. So yeah, your games against Phantom. I, I, I honestly I haven't seen your games yet. I, I was wanting to watch them, but I've not had time to do it. Um, so yeah, how how did that go? And 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 how did what was what was surprising? What was like the biggest shocker? Uh, what do you think attributed to the loss and you guys not getting to the the finals? Um. Well, they were really good games overall. Um, I think that, I mean, my match with Phantom in particular came down to like, basically, um, I was little red and I, if I drew, um, my once upon a time or my big mouth or my, yeah, either of those, I had two cards out of like maybe eight or 10. And I had a guaranteed checkmate scenario. Mm. Uh, your turn. Okay. Um, so I double maneuvered, and he, he was Luke Cage. He was at one health. So I double maneuvered to try to get the checkmate, and then I had the lethal for sure. Mm. Um, and I didn't get either one, and I'm like, okay, that sucks. Um, but I still have more chances as long as he doesn't, like, kill me literally this turn. And he had the where's my money into the double attacks. I played a stones on the first one, and I missed his um big boost value if i hit the big boost then i would have lived and likely won from there um, okay so there was like a lot of just you know playing the odds a lot of playing the odds and i did not end up with the odds in my favor mm. it was tough um but they were really good games overall i don't think i played bad at all so i was happy with my play but nobody can win them all and unmatched so uh it's you know all the combat interactions there's a degree of randomness there of sure what do they actually play and you just got to try to make the right calls 
So I stand by all the calls I made. I don't think I necessarily played anything wrong. It just didn't go my way that time. And uh, Phantom's obviously a great player, so mm -hmm. I think he deserved the win. Uh, he's practiced. Pra he's probably played the game more than literally anybody on the planet. Uh, right. He's put in so many, so many hours. Um, so he deserves it. And then with Chad, I uh, I don't know what happened with Chad, man. I thought Chad was the chosen one. I thought he could never lose. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, unless it was against me. Right, but, right, right. Uh, there's been a, just a couple of people to prove me wrong with that. Uh, Botterham and uh, Animal. So Right. No, nobody's invincible, yeah. I guess. I love it. Great, great games, great plays. I'm attacking, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Little hoax. Yeah. Figured. Good, good fan. Thanks, thanks, thanks. I should have thought about that and should have played my regroup on defense so that I still saved a damage. That right. Would have been sick. Right. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, um, I'm so I'm just gonna die off in fatigue. You're gonna play your pass, and uh, that's the end of that. So let's. How do we go out? How do we um, go out? <laughs> that's the question. By the way, my bottom card was my blue four, so it was a close one. Yeah, well, I still just didn't have enough opportunities to right. get in. Right, 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 right. This is, so from my experience of, of playing, at least, this is sort of how it goes down. But now, I, I mean, I did line up every, like, all, all your big ones, I did get to block with big with big ones, so. But I would right. I would never want to play the Bigfoot side of this, so I'm, I, was in, I was surprised that you liked it. Um, oh, I love it. So because there's a lot of times you can just play towards fatigue, like when Muldoon's trying to just hunker down. Um, take it. You can just like pop traps to make it force him to draw. You have five passes just like he does, right? You have the same amount of passes. Mm -hmm. um, I think I used my ability at some point in this game. I shouldn't have used the ability. Um, What's your last card to regroup? So there's like a. Yeah, it's a regroup. Okay. I'll maneuver. <laughs> Let's go get him, boys. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll maneuver. One, two, three. You can take me out with the. Uh... I think we. I think we go. Well, in. I'll still die to a maneuver. I have to boost with my remote hey. detonation. Is this stupid? Is this suicide if I? <laughs> if I suicide? Boost? No, 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 dude. You just double maneuver. No, you play that as a pass. Well, I know how to. I know how to I win to it. I know how to win it guaranteed. I'm trying to figure out how to win it with style. Exactly. That's why you just got to play your pass, and then you kill me with the biggest health differential. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right? If you attack me now, sure. and then you force me to maneuver, I'm going to die like, like, like a schmuck. You're right. No, no, no. You're right, right, right. Let's just do the pass then. Okay. There you go. And now you can boost and hit me anywhere, right? Yeah, I don't know where I maneuvered to it's or from, but this is probably fine. This is not terrible. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. fine. So then I can I could attack you with a regroup, and then you can take it, right? I'll maneuver. Now you have a choice. Yes. You either take it. Beautiful. I kill myself or, or or you defend and then you kill me with biggest health difference. Right, 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 so. right, 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 right. Uh, in fact, we will do this one here. Your choice. What, what kind of man are you? This is the kind of man <laughs> I am. So I'll take no damage. Right. No, no. You don't draw two. Oh, wait. You draw, you're right, you're you draw right. one. one. You're yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to move a little like that. One of these, we aim at yeah. the, we aim at the, the beast, and we drop our yeah. last trap, <laughs> and then you pop me for five. Boom! Yeah, GG. That was fun. Really good yeah. game. I was hoping you were gonna end over here, and then I was gonna kill myself with my ability draw. <laughs> <laughs> so I I thought you were gonna kill yourself with a regroup, and I was gonna let you do it, um, on the, uh -huh. uh, but I don't think I don't know if you could have. Were you at four? Or were you at six? I can't remember. Um, I was at four. I was at six, and I maneuvered down to four and okay. attacked with the regroup. Cool. That's so if you fun. took it, I would die exact zero, but you defended, so I drew one. Right. And then if you moved to red, I would have used my ability. That was funny. Um, all right, and then this is what I had. Um, all right, so zero, Skater, thanks for playing. That was a lot of fun. Uh, how can people follow you? Uh, how can they find you? Obviously, they know about you most likely because they are here. Uh, and because you are zero skater, but how can they find you and uh, and all that jazz? Yeah, um, check me out on YouTube. Obviously, uh, it's just zero skater twelve on YouTube. Um, I am far behind on matchup of the month series, but I will catch up uh, at some point. I'm finishing up school within the next two weeks, so awesome. then I'll have more free time to catch up on all that. 
Um, so yeah, check me out on YouTube. Uh, I stream every once in a while on Twitch as well, just twitch.tv slash zeroskater12. Um, I usually stream like my tournament matches or when new fighters, new sets come out, I usually stream a couple of games uh, as soon as those come out, just showcasing them. Um, some other fun streams here and there, but uh, it's sporadic. But follow me there. You can check me out when I go live. Um, you can also support me on Patreon, of course. Um, that helps me make, it helps me actually pay my editor, Darkblade, who I'm sure you all know <laughs> as well. Uh, so yeah. That would be great. And then I also have like a Twitter and Instagram, even though I don't use them all that much. Um, but I'm always hanging out in the Discord channels as well if you just want to chat about Unmatched in there. Very cool. Thank you so much, dude. And uh, I will uh, yeah, I'll catch you later. Yeah, man. Thanks for inviting me. This was a great time. Yeah, a lot of fun. All right. All right. Later. See ya. All right, guys, that was really cool. That was a, a very fun first one. Um, let me switch over to this old, this old thing here. Okay. All right, so I wonder what the sound quality difference is, guys. Let me know if it's, if it's like substantial or, or not. Um, but uh, yeah, that was really fun. That was really cool getting to know him, ask some questions. Um, I really if you guys have good questions i'd love to get those um send them to me in the either the comments or the chat or discord or wherever um shoot me your questions um because i was at the very end i literally asked every single question that i had so uh we were lucky the game was exactly that length um but yeah give me more questions that was a huge fun i don't know how fun you guys uh, how much you guys enjoyed it, but it was a blast. Um, big shout out to my crockpots, my patron. Did it again. Romantic, Greg's, Lasinski, 619 Sports, Chick Charney, O-Town, and Shy Guy for Smash. If you want to support me, you can go to patreon.com slash Captain Crockpot. And, um, yeah. yeah. So, uh, on Saturday, we're going to be doing this again with um with phantom so he's the winner of winner of champions and on by the way i i had so many winner of champions questions i forgot to write them down and so i never got to them that's on me that is on me i also assumed that i'd get some winner of champions questions from you guys um that was that's my fault uh i had a lot there but hopefully hopefully what he covered was good enough and then We'll get a lot of that with Phantom for sure because he won the whole thing. So get to pick his brain about that. Um, that's going to be Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern time. And, guys, we won the game rocking the Black Panther shirt the whole time. We didn't have to do a wardrobe change. I was, I was wanting to, but there was never a moment that made sense because I was, like, asking him questions and he's answering me. That if, what if I just left? That's rude. Okay, you don't do that. So we rocked the Panther shirt the whole time, uh, got the dub. That was a fun game. Would you guys have wanted to play that matchup uh, as the Bigfoot side? I don't enjoy it. Um, I've played that before. Um, I'm, I, I definitely prefer the, the InGen side. That's that's my favorite. He's one of my favorite fighters to begin with. But, um, yeah, guys, uh, this was a blast. And I think that is everything. I'll be mailing these these uh, these out to the winners, to, um, to those two winners. And... Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, this is your captain signing off. Soon. Anytime now.